Hi everyone, this is Cheryl the Craft Nut 32 and tonight I'm here to share with you some teacher appreciation gifts. Tomorrow is the last day of school for my boys and I've decided to make the present this year instead of buying them a gift card. And this is what I came up with. It is a gift, a box set of note cards, a little gift set. I saw this idea one night while browsing on Pinterest and I thought they were so cute. A lady on Pinterest um, was taking orders so she would make them with the name of your choice on the card and I just thought well I'm gonna give it a try and I'm glad I did I'm really happy with how they turned out so to start off I'll talk to you about the box I've created this tag so it will match on the the tag the little I guess emblem on the card and it is an apple cut from doodle charms I have distressed the edge of this apple with some fire brick distress ink from Tim Holtz layered it on a scallop from winter woodlands on the back, my son's already written on it, there's a stamp that says to and from, um, and those stamps are from Paper Tree Ink. And then it opens up, I've punched a hole with my crop at all for the tag. I have used some ribbon that I got from Walmart, and this ribbon was really cool, it was 50 cents, and I got it back at Christmas time. And I just absolutely love it. It's nice and bright, and I love that I can use large quantities of it. I know where to find it, and they always have it in stock, so... I don't feel like I hoard it. <laughs> I've created this box with my Martha Stewart scoreboard. It's just like a box. You cut and you cut the little tabs out. I use some acetate for the window and elegant edges to cut this scallop in the center of the box. I inked everything up with some vintage photo distressing from Tim Holtz. The edges in the sides. And then on to the card. So this card is an A2 size card. I've created the lined paper on my computer. I used my crocodile to punch the three holes. I wished I saw on several videos there's a punch that you can use that looks like paper has been pulled out of a notebook. But I don't have that punch. I wish I do, but I don't. So I just compromised with what I did have. Again, the same um, as the tag I've used for the emblem. And I love that I can make it to match. I love just being able to have all of these shapes at my disposal and create all this fun stuff. I matted it on some craft cardstock. It's just a plain card. I actually purchased the cards and envelopes from Walmart. It's a pack of DCWV cards and envelopes. So that's all of them. It's a nice good size. This box is six long by four and a half wide and the edges are an inch and a quarter high. So there we go. That is the cute little gift set that she will receive. I've made for both of my boys' teachers just the exact same thing. And it was nice and easy just mass producing all the apples, the circles, the scallops. When I was doing it, I used my printer and I just changed the name of my of the teacher. Then I just cut them all out and matted them on the craft cardstock and just kind of made a nice big assembly line. So that was the gift set and this is the card. I've made this card using some paper tray ink stamps. This rose here is from The Sweet Life. And then I think this is thanks a lot or it's a thanks something anyways stamp set. And so this is a nice easy one for me. It's like a nice go to. I can do it really quickly and it always turns out really well. I'm always really happy with how it turns out. So that is my card. Oh, and I forgot to mention that I did layer it on some Recollections paper just to kind of match the blue. So that is my card and my gift set for my son's teachers. And I hope everyone's, <laughs> that looks bad in the shot. I hope everyone's having a great night. Thanks for watching, bye.